Record this for the Epson kids. Okay. So let's just me go over every problem. Um, first of all, um, I'm just going to say it's January 13th. I'm not going to say the day of the week. It's just January 13th. It's January 13th. All right. So you are to be able to write down the Pascal's triangle. Don't have it memorized. It just memorize this part. One, one, one. It always goes out one. I mean, you've been paying zero attention if you don't know that. And then simply, you add one and one, and a two goes down here. And just you sort of look at the two numbers, add up. Okay, one and three, three and three. Say, of course I know that. All right, and I can't go up to seven because I just ran out of room. All right, the next one says, use Pascal's triangle to go x plus y to the sixth. I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to do x plus y to the fifth power. I'm going to do x plus y to the fifth power. Mentioned this yesterday, mentioned this again. Um, am I actually recording? I am. Uh, um, and it's this. This is the fifth row. Row 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can tell what row it is by just the number stares at you. There's row 5. And it expands simply as x starts as the biggest x, y as the smallest y, y to the fifth. Uh, I'm sorry, x to the fifth, y to the zero. Plus 5. x gets smaller, x to the fourth, y gets bigger, y to the first. Um, plus 10, x gets smaller, x to the third, y gets bigger, plus 10, say I get it, I get it, I get it, yep, plus 5, x, y to the fourth, plus y to the fifth. So that's like problems number one and two, that's like problems number one and two. Okay, this is just so really gross. All right, like problem number three, like problem number three. So it has already been started out, so I'll do a different one than you've got. So I'll put like 3x fourth and then 5, negative 5, y to the 0, plus. So if this is the fourth row, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Was that the fourth row? Yep. And then plus 4. Um, and then 3x to the third times negative 5, y to the first. So this is not the one on your review sheet. And I'm just going to go at center. I'm not going to finish it out. And it simply says to finish it out. Simply on your calculator, do 3 to the fourth. 3 times 3 times 3, 3, 3 to the fourth. 81 times negative 5. Make sure if you're using your calculator that negative 5 is in a parentheses. And we get negative 405, x to the fourth, y to the zero. You don't need to write it down. Let's see, positive times negative. That whole thing is going to be negative. And now just going to use your calculator, 4 times 3 to the third, times negative 5 to the first. Did I do that first one wrong? I did that first one wrong. Say, I did it wrong. What's negative 5 to the zero? Regular one. Boo! I'll edit that out. You know I don't edit anything out. Right? You've never watched one of my videos. I never edit anything out. Okay. Start again. Negative 5 to the 0 is regular 1. So it's just 3, 3, 3, 3. It's just 80. All right. What's going on there? All right. Now, 4 times 3 to the 3rd times negative 5 to the 1st. 4 times 3 to the 3rd times parentheses, negative 5, negative 540 minus 540x to the third y. Say, so good to go. Okay, so from the, from the, from the, from the e-learning day, the third term, of a plus b to the eighth power. Absolutely, if you would like to look at the eighth row of Pascal's triangle, which would be 1, 
eight. Does anyone else have it handy? Help. Is it 28? Thank you. Okay, I don't have it handy. Absolutely go ahead and do that. But the other way from the e-learning day, if you'd like, you could think of it this way. The first term is out of eight A's, you choose all eight, A to the eighth, B to the zero. We've done this before, this is sort of repeatish. The second term would be out of the eight A's, you're choosing seven of them, and this would be A to the seventh and B to the first. And I said the third term, the third term is out of eight A's, you are choosing six of them, A to the sixth, B to the second. And I just want the third term, so you could just do this. So you could just go eight combination, six is 28. A to the sixth, B to the second. Okay, you could do that. Or you could do Pascal's triangle, 1, 8, 28, which we were told, thank you, Janai, and you could do it that way. All right. Now, now, do it either way. Do it either way. Do it either way. All right. Then uh, the suggestion, okay, find the sixth term, and let me do a different one than on your review sheet. Let me go 3a minus 5b to the tenth, and find the sixth term. You could go to the tenth row of Pascal's triangle, okay, hope we're not playing soccer games, and then asking questions later. We could go to the 10th row of Pascal's triangle. We sure could. Or we could do that other way that was mentioned during the e-learning day, which would be this. First of all, let's just change this to x plus y to the 10th. And then, and then later on, we will substitute where we see an x we're going to substitute an A, and when we see a Y, we're going to put a negative 5B. Okay, we'll do that later. So X plus Y to the 10th, you could go to the 10th row of Pascal's triangle, which gets pretty big. You would have to make that. It's not hard, just lengthy. All right, or you could do it this way. So the first term would be this. Out of 10, you're choosing all 10 X's. Okay. The second term, out of all 10, you're choosing 9. Well, here's what I tried to teach on the e-learning video, which we haven't talked about to this very moment. Well, you could write them all out, or we could use our fingers. I'm trying to get the sixth term. So the second term has a 9. I'm going to use my fingers. The third term has an 8. The fourth term has a 7. The fifth term has a 6. The sixth term has a 5. Does that make sense? The sixth term has a 5. That would mean x is the 5. And these always add up to be 10, so y would be the 5. So we could just skip to the sixth term by using our fingers. Let me. Friday the 13th. Oh. Madison will save you if need be. Okay. The first term, all 10. The second term, 9 out of 10. I'm looking for sixth term. Third term, 8. Fourth term, 7. Fifth term, 6. Sixth term, 5. This number and this number match up. Here we go. Um, combination, 10, x to the fifth, y 
to the fifth. And then we substitute. 252, we substitute 3a to the fifth. By the way, the one on your worksheet gets like into exponential no notation. 5b to the fifth. And you would need to take 252 times 3 to the fifth times parentheses negative 5 to the fifth to get some huge number. All right. Cool. Do I need to make a new recording? Yes.